Caribbean mate, and you're watching the Rose Table Disney Dinners Pirates of the Caribbean, my favorite movie of all time. We've got a Caribbean menu of coconut shrimp and pumpkin sauce, grilled lobster tails, and Captain Jack Sparrow cupcakes served on a 1700s pirate ship. And thanks to my friends at the Hermitage Nevis, we even have the recipe for the oldest rum punch in the Caribbean. This is either brilliance or madness, and I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some rum. Seven. My inspiration for the atmosphere was the scene in which Captain Barbosa and Elizabeth Swan eat dinner on the pirate ship. So I really wanted those black pearl vibes with the gauzy black cloth and the black tablecloth. I wanted it to look like Captain Barbosa would want to eat here, right? So I got this great fishing net that I was able to cut as a sort of makeshift table runner. For those pirate vibes, I hung this gauzy black cloth and more of the fishing net on the walls. And then for the touches, the movie is set in the 1700s, so I really wanted this, these old world vibes with the pewter vases, the silver chargers, the silver candle holders and taper candles, kind of just give it that old world vibe. I also decorated with real seashells that I pulled out of the Caribbean Sea myself on various vacations. And I love this octopus, of course, a nod to Davy Jones. And I got this adorable little crab. They have a crab scene in the third movie, so that's a nod to that. I just love the flowers for this. I did red roses, red alstroemeria, and purple spider mums. And then the reason I did the napkin like this, this is actually an exact uh, table setting from the movie. They do the fork and the knife on a napkin to the left of the plate. So that is actually, I paused the movie to get that right. Again, hung this great black gauzy cloth over my china cabinet to make it a little bit creepier. And then this is a print that I actually, uh, of, of a photo that I took on vacation in the Caribbean in Turks and Caicos. Now my side table, I just did a lantern, a pillar candle, and a conch shell. This I actually brought back with me from Turks and Caicos. And I just wanted lanterns and candles everywhere because that's, again, from the movie. They have tons of candles featured in the film. For the other side table, there's actually a hidden Mickey in these green apples. Of course, green apples are all throughout the first movie. Captain Barbosa loves them. And then I spray painted Oreos with edible gold spray paint to look like pirate coins. And I pulled some of those out later to use for dessert. So I was just absolutely in love with this little side table and the look of this room. For my Elizabeth Swan Disney bounding, I wore a maroon dress with a pirate medallion, fierce black booties, black nail polish, and Elizabeth hair. Before dinner started, I hosted a little rum tasting to give my friends a taste of the Caribbean. This is a really fun way to kick things off, especially if people are unfamiliar with different rums. Oh my god, that's so good, right? This is a uh, Bombara rum, which you can only get in the Turks and Caicos, and so I actually brought this bottle back with me from Turks and Caicos, and I absolutely love Bombara. It's my favorite rum. Ah, this is Captain Morgan's private stock. Okay, so what's everybody's favorite? That was private stock. I don't like private stock. Yeah. I actually like this one. Bombara. Yeah, yeah, really good. yeah. yeah. I really like that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For the first course, I served coconut shrimp with pumpkin sauce, inspired by one of my all-time favorite dishes at a Sioux on the Beach in Turks and Caicos. It's sweet and crunchy and just perfect with the pumpkin sauce. You just dredge the shrimp in seasoned flour, then beaten egg, and finally a mixture of panko and coconut. Fry for two minutes each side and enjoy! My regular readers already know all about my delicious rum punch recipe, which is one part sour, two parts sweet, and three parts rum. Watch out, this is a party in a glass. For the main course, I went with a traditional summertime Caribbean dish, grilled rock lobster tail with zucchini, roasted potatoes, avocado, and a ginger lime burblanc sauce. Lobster is really not difficult to grill and only takes 10 minutes. You just butterfly the tails, sprinkle with salt and pepper, grill meat side down for 5 minutes, flip, spoon on a lemony garlic butter mixture, and cook for 5 more minutes. The potato and squash was prepared really simply because I knew we'd want to smother the whole plate with this luscious burblong sauce. Man oh man, this is so good guys. 
It is just smoky and flavorful and bursting with the lime. Oh my goodness, you've got to try this. This is a winning dinner. Yes! <laughs> that's, how you, that's how it's done. This is how you do it. <laughs> Explain me to dinner. Try this and it had a explain it well. Mm -hmm. A very expensive lobster tail mm -hmm. served to us, uh, probably the length of my elbow to my wrist. And it was it was very delicious, but it paled in comparison to this lobster. Yeah. For dessert, I served my Captain Jack Sparrow cupcakes, which I created to celebrate the latest installment of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. This is a dark chocolate cupcake with caramel rum frosting. It is so good. You start by making my favorite caramel rum sauce. You let that cool, and then you mix it into your frosting. You then frost the cooled cupcakes with your caramel rum frosting. I like this side-to-side -side pattern, but you can frost them however you like. Then just drizzle with more caramel rum sauce and finish them off with gold sprinkles and pirate flags. Are they not so cute? I served these with Oreos that I used edible gold spray paint on to look like pirate coins. I then placed two on each plate to form a hidden Mickey. This is seriously one of the cutest desserts I've ever served at Disney dinners. I'm so excited, and this is my favorite hidden Mickey by a landslide. <laughs> We've had like blueberries and cuts up, but none yeah. as none as poignant as pirate coin Mickey ears. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let's go. This is absolutely wonderful. Alright. Okay, this might be the best crap here ever. Oh. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Mm. The cupcake was probably my favorite part. <laughs> yeah. I'm a huge sweets fan. Yeah. So, cupcake was amazing. Uh, but the, the lobster tail was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Drizzled with the, with the sauce and everything. Mm. It was just so good. Mm. But Perfect. I mean, uh, everything with it, the little avocado with it, and you know, the, the potatoes and the zucchini, like it's just, it's all very perfect. Yay. And the coconut shrimp with the, with the pumpkin sauce. I've never had pumpkin sauce with the coconut shrimp. Uh, and that was a delicious pairing. Mm. Yay. So it's abundant in the Caribbean, and I've always been very surprised because to me it doesn't even read as pumpkin, it reads like more as carrot uh -huh. a little bit, um, but that is my nod to all of my